Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking this boring Mac terminal and turning it into an awesome productivity tool. It will include syntax highlighting, autocomplete based on your terminal history, and other various indicators when working in the terminal. This is the exact same setup that I do when I get a new MacBook or do a clean install. Okay, let's get started. So as you can see here, I have several tabs open to help make this process easier. You will find links to these pages in the description below. The first thing we're going to install is oh My ZSH. Oh My ZSH has all kinds of plugins that you can install to make your terminal even more awesome. So to do the install, we're just going to copy this command here and paste it into our terminal and click enter. And that command runs pretty quick and we can see that it's installed. Now we're going to install power level 10 K. This will make our terminal look something like one of these examples. But before we can do that, we have to install the fonts. So we're just going to come down here and download all four of these fonts. And then once all four of those are downloaded, we're just going to open the first one and click install. And then open the second one and we're going to click keep both. We'll do that for the other two. And now if we search for Meslo, we can see that we have four styles installed. Now we want to come back to our terminal, come up to terminal settings, go to profiles, and on the profile that you're using, come to font and click change. And we want to change that to that Meslo font that we installed. Now we can go ahead and install power level 10K. So if we scroll up and find the section for installing with oh my ZSH, we're just going to, again, copy this command and paste it into the terminal and run it. After that's run successfully, we just want to open up the ZSH RC file. So we'll just do that with nano. And we'll come down and change the ZSH theme from Robbie Russell to be power level 10 K forward slash power level 10 K. If I can type correctly here. We'll just go ahead and hit control X to exit and yes to save. Now, if we type in E X E C Z S H and run that, it starts the configuration wizard for power level 10 K. So let's go ahead and go through that. The first thing is, does this look like a diamond? Yes. So we'll hit Y. Does this look like a lock? Yes. Is this an up arrow? Yes. Do all these icons fit between the crosses? Yes. Now we can start setting up the prompt style. I'm going to go with my own preferences here, but you should go with whatever feels best for you. So here it's asking if we want to enable transient prompts. What this does is make the prompt disappear after you run a command, which gives it a better look in my opinion. So I'm going to enable that. I'm not entirely sure what this does. So I'm just going to hit one for verbose, which is the recommended option. And do we want to apply these changes? Yes. So now you can see we've dropped down and here's our new prompt. So if I just want to run a command, let's just clear the terminal. We can see that the prompt is still there. And if we just echo out hello, we can kind of see how that transient prompt works because the prompt disappears right here and just displays our command. And then here's our prompt down below. So now that we've installed power level 10 K, the next thing we want to do is install syntax highlighting. So I'm just going to come over to this ZSH syntax highlighting GitHub page and we'll come down and it has how to install. We'll click on install MD and we can see that there's several ways to install, but the one we're looking for is the one for oh my ZSH. As usual, we'll just copy that 
come back to the terminal, paste, and then we just need to activate the plugin. And to do that, we just want to open up that zshrc file again. So nano dot zshrc, and then just come down to the bottom of this file where we can find plugins. And we can see that git is already there. So just inside the parentheses, we're going to type in space zsh dash send tax dash highlighting. And then control X and Y to save. And now if we type in echo, we can see that it's red until it matches a command. And then we'll do hello. So there's the syntax highlighting. Now for the last thing, we want to install the ZSH auto suggestions. So we're just gonna to come to the ZSH auto suggestions GitHub page, come down just like before, click on the install MD and find oh my ZSH. Again, copy the command. Should seem pretty familiar at this point. Paste that into the terminal. And then just like before, we want to open up the ZSH file and add ZSH auto suggestions to the plugins. And now after saving that file, we'll need to run the exc ZSH command. And now if I hit E, we can see that in the background there, we can see the previous command. And if I put C, we can see that echo hello, which was the last previous command that I ran with those characters is being displayed. If I type in G, I can see the last command that started with a G that I entered. If I want to go ahead and run the suggested command there, I just hit the right arrow and hit enter. This is a great tool when you can't remember exactly what the command was that you entered some time ago, but you kind of know how it started. So this is pretty much all that I do to my terminal, just so that way I keep it mostly lightweight. But if you come back to the Oh My ZSH page, you can see there's all kinds of plugins here. We can click on see all plugins and just all kinds of things here. Uh, I definitely suggest you go check this out. You may find something that works great for you. One thing to note after making this change in your terminal is that the terminal in VS Code will look a little wonky because you don't have the right fonts. So the way to fix that is just come to settings and then search for a terminal font. And where it says integrated font family, just put in that Meslo font and you can see that that fixed our terminal. And that's pretty much all you need to know for upgrading your Mac terminal. If you found this content helpful, please like the video so that others can find it more easily. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, Click the subscribe button and bell icon so that you don't miss the next video when it comes out. As always, thanks for watching.